Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Doing another paracord critter. You guys really enjoyed this uh, paracord babom kind of thing. So we're doing some more animals and critters and stuff. Doing something a little more simple this time though. Uh, this is a paracord butterfly, as you can see. Right? That's why we've got all my toys out today. It's doing something a little more fun. And uh, this one does have a bobby pin on it, so you can clip it onto backpack your hair you know great for the kids I think the kids will enjoy making this one too it's very simple and we're using the uh, awesome tie-dye paracord so that's what we'll be doing today guys remember if you're looking for where to get paracord check out my affiliate links down below because when you uh, shop through those you're helping out this channel greatly and always appreciate that so that being said let's get into the tutorial hey okay, guys so I got about four feet paracord I'm using the rainbow tie-dye we're making a butterfly so why not uh, we're going to tie a diamond knot, so let's do that real quick. I've got my cord divided down the middle. I'm going to put it on my hand, like so. And on the right side, we're going to make a loop. Lay that over top. The purple there. Okay. Then bring this strand around. We're going to go over, under, over. Like so. Pull that through. So I've uh, gone through the diamond knot many times, so you guys should know how to tie this one by now. Right. Next, I'm going to take this strand on the bottom here, go past the purple one up top, and then go under and through the middle, like that. And then for this one, up top, of course, bring that around. Go past the strand here, up and through the middle. There we go. Okay, we have our diamond knot. Let's cinch that up real nice. So now you actually want to shorten the diamond knot to, I'd say about, before you tighten it, get it to about right here. Cause that's where your, um, the antenna for the butterfly will be. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up here. And of course we all know how to do that. We just tug on the corresponding strand, right? You can just pull on this one. Shorten it. You can shorten both sides if you want, or you can just shorten one side, right? Pull that through. And get all the excess through. Right. It's still a little long. Let's pull this other side a bit shorter. This cord is kind of flat. It's not very round, so it's not really cooperating with me, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's fine. So now tighten up your diamond knot and let's move on to the next step. So now that we have our diamond knot tied, let's do the rest of the butterfly. Now let's make a loop down here, like so, and then make another loop up here, like that. Okay, so it's kind of like a I guess you can call it figure eight. Hold this across these uh, two strands underneath the diamond knot and just kind of pinch it there for a sec. Next, take the strand on the left. You bring it behind this one, make a loop. See, that's the uh, bottom part of the butterfly. Pinch that with your finger and make another loop like so. This time lay it across the strand here, like so. And then now bring it behind everything, like that. And then bring the strand out that side. See, so there's where you wanna be. Then now from here, we're going to basically tie a couple of cobra knots. So we've got this strand going across. Let's bring it back around. 
like that over four strands. Bring this underneath and then bring this through this side here. Okay, now carefully pull everything together. Now this is this part's gonna require some kind of playing around with because when you pull it, the size of the butterfly wings will kind of change. So now it's up to you to kind of see adjust these guys and get them to where you want. If they're too small, then go back and kind of redo it. Um, and also you can kind of pull, see all that, that room there? You want to pull down on these, bring that right there, and pull it tight. And then from here, you can adjust the size of the butterfly wings. And if you want to make this bigger, you can feel free to do that. Okay, so adjust the size, get it where you want it to go. And then um, when the size is correct, or the butterfly looks how you want to, you can snip and singe these two excess pieces. So I guess we don't really need as much as four feet. Like I mentioned earlier, that's what it said in the book. So I'm just going by the instructions. But um, yeah, maybe you can do three feet. But yeah, so when you got your butterfly size to where you like it, snip and singe these two cords on the sides. Okay, so I snipped and singed off the excess there. Now for the last part, to make these antenna, um, you can just cut down the middle right here if you want to separate these two strands and then singe them at the ends. I feel like these are a little too long, so maybe I'll cut them right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut off the paracord right about here, and then I will just uh, take a lighter to them and seal them, and then we'll be done. All right, so there we have it, I'm done. Made those antennas there. And for the absolute final step, if you have a bobby pin, you can kind of just hook it underneath here, like so. And now you can attach this to anything, really. Clip it onto your bag, put it in your hair, whatever you want, all right? So there it is, guys, the paracord butterfly. Hope you like this one, it's a little different. Uh, some of you seem to enjoy the paracord bob -omb. So we're doing some more critters and we'll probably be doing some more uh, complicated ones in the future. For now, this one's nice and simple, just to get started. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're looking for where to get paracord, check out those affili affiliate links down below because when you shop through those, you're helping this channel greatly. I always appreciate that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.